All right, check it out. Uh, I just wanted to send a quick video, uh, demo video. So I'm going to click Add New Automation. I'm going to show them this video, how to scrape data off Airbnb or, uh, or Verbo. Um, however, I haven't found a site that displays the owners of the properties direct information, meaning they're uh, like they're uh, so I haven't found a so I can see like we have okay, here's Airbnb, right? Can we get the info up here? Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of this, right? Identity confirmed information. So I don't know what it's going to take to unlock that info, but I want to show you what this can do. Okay. So <clears throat> say if I, I pulled up Chicago, a thousand places, a thousand Airbnb short-term rentals in Chicago, right? I opened up an automation here. Everything in this, in this browser is going to be, is going to be tracked. So I'm going to use a direct URL link and navigate directly to the page that I want. It's for a, a cleaner, faster <clears throat> build process. Oh, let me restart this really quick. Okay, so I'm going to paste the URL. <clears throat> I'm pasting the URL of this site that has a thousand Chicago Airbnbs, right? Uh, you can see that there's owner information in here. But again, if you click into it, I need to unlock this info, but this will at least point you in the right direction of what's possible with this tool. So this tool can scrape any data off of any website. <clears throat> so I navigated here directly. I have all of these pages here, right? I have all these pages. Actually, let me just minimize this. So I don't want it to change the elements. There we go. Okay, so how this works is I'm going to use scrape list, meaning I want to scrape a list, not just an individual text, okay? If there's a URL available, then it's going to give me an option to select the URL. So I want to click two elements of the same. Okay. <clears throat> my tray is navigating to my primary window. I'm on my monitor, but so I, because I click these two options, I can now select the URL. So I want the direct URL. So this might need to be split up into two different automations. I want the, I want to scrape the direct URL of each one of these properties, right? <clears throat> now in column A, I'm going to have that direct URL. Now, if I wanted to scrape, then say if I wanted to scrape the text of each of these, okay? So if I go scrape list and I'm gonna click two elements in a row. Oh, it doesn't give me, okay. So I only get the picture and I only get, I'll see, if, I'll see what happens if I scrape two of these. I do get a text and a URL again. So I'm gonna click URL this time. So I can see column A, column B. Um, with that scrape data there. Okay. Uh, now, since this page, this website has pagination, then I want to account for pagination. Okay. Meaning I want to, I want to navigate to each page and scrape data off of each page. So I'm going to capture this step here, this next sign. Cool. All right, cool. So this automation is done. <clears throat> Uh, what I'm going to do is, so I got my scrape links, scrape links, and then uh, clicking next presentation. I want to do a quick, um, ah, that's pretty good. All right, so then I want to send to Google Sheets, right? So let me open up a sheet. And let's use, use case test here. And you want to make sure to, um, match these headers up with what you need. So let's click URL, URL, and then I'm going to delete these columns. Okay. So I want to send that scrape data. I have two scraped steps in here. I'm going to send it to Google Sheets. There we go. Select sheet one, make sure it matches up with your headers. It has, okay, cool. Step two and three of them. All right. All right. Now I want to set up a loop. So a loop uh, trigger. So uh, I'm not going to connect a sheet, but I want this to loop through, we'll say three different pages right now. It has a 
total of 15, so you can do even more if you want to. You can do 100 pages if you wanted to. I can schedule it to run automatically if you wanted to, but I'm going to have it loop through three different pages here just for sample purposes. And I want it to loop between step one and step three, three times, and scrape all those links. So I'm going to click play steps. And data should be scraping to this website right here. So it's all the bot doing this right now, working through its steps. Um, this is the loop count here. Cool. Okay. So looks like okay, I got two URLs. I'll explain why here in a sec why I want URLs for each of these. And I just want to see if they're matching. If they're matching, then I don't need Like if I can click here, do I get to the property? Yeah, I get to the property, okay, sweet. Meaning I don't need column B now. Let's delete this, okay. Solid. So I have the URLs of each property, right? And And so now what I'm going to do is build a second automation. Now this is, and again, this is just a sample, but what I want to do is, is connect this sheet that I just scraped all of these URLs and I could have scraped a ton more, but these are all the properties. And I want to connect this to a second automation that is going to navigate to each one of these pages and scrape the data that we need off of each of these pages. And so if there is information from the host on here, then we want to scrape that data. But there's no information. So that's why we need a site that allows that information to be visible. So just to, to show you here, Airbnb part one, part number one. <clears throat> Save, okay. I'm going to start a new automation, do a manual record again. And, but this time I'm going to send data to my next sheet. So we'll call it sheet two. And this is just to give you a sample here. So let me pull, let me pull extract the URL here. Copy, let me navigate directly to that URL in the recording window. I have direct access to the property, right? Now, maybe I want to call this, let's see what I want to scrape off of here. So um, say name of property. I have, meaning I'm gonna scrape this guy right here. So what I'm gonna do is click, it's just, I'm gonna click scrape text since it's not a list and I'm gonna click that. So my scrape step is there, right? Um, oh, I need to add a step here. So I'm going to add a second step. There we go. Do it again. Let's see what else I want to scrape. Oh, location. Location. Scrape text. And I'm going to grab this location here. All right, cool. So I grab that. Uh, next, I'll just keep this video short. I want to grab... What else do I want to grab? Host, okay, host name or something like that, right? So again, I'm going to scrape text. And I'm going to grab this text. All right, so just for uh, video purposes, I'm going to end the automation there. Keep this short. Um, I'm going to connect a sheet. So I'm going to use a loop through data sheet, which means I want it to loop through each one of the URLs in sheet one. Okay. Navigate, navigate through each URL sheet. I'm going to have it, let's go through three. Cool. And continue. All right. 
I'm going to delete my first grape stuff because I don't need that stuff. So this should be scraping, scrape name of property. I might need to recapture this because my, my first scrape step was matching the column A. This will be scrape location and scrape host name. Scrape host name, okay. <clears throat> but just for demo purposes, I'll, instead of recapturing here, I'm just going to um, keep it as is. All right, so now I want to send this data to, to sheet two. So I want to pull URLs from sheet one, scrape the data that I need, and send to sheet two. Okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot to add my URL set. All right, fuck it. I'm going to do a recapture real quick. All right, just recaptured steps. Um, I'm going to, the reason why I recapture steps is I needed to add a step in before I add the navigate step. So I want to add a URL, direct URL step, meaning I want this to, this automation to navigate to each one of these URLs. Okay, so I'm going to select the variable, the URL variable here meaning I want it to extract and loop through each one of these URLs. So what it's going to do, so I'm going to delete the first step so I can add that one in. <clears throat> It'll navigate to each URL, scrape the name, scrape location, scrape uh, host name. Right, so it should be, it'll be send, a sh send data to sheet two, okay. And I should be sending here. Okay, cool, it's already connected. Still connected because I um, had this recapture instead of doing a, a brand new build. So I'll just call this Airbnb part two, cool. Alrighty, so uh, I want to, determine how many loops I want this to start with. So it's going to loop through sheet one, each URL. Um, it's going to start on row two. And just for test purposes, I'll have it loop through three different URLs. And I want every time it loops, I want it to loop from step one, meaning navigate, scrape this info, navigate, scrape that info, navigate, scrape that info. So let's test this really quick. And so it should be sending data to the sheet. So you can see it's scraping info. <clears throat> it's all the bot doing it. All right, cool. So just loop through three different um, URLs to grab all the info, the name, location, host by name. Um, so, hey, yeah, this data was info, which is why the hosted name was different. Anyway, I just wanted to create this video to show you how any data can be scraped off of any website. However, it needs to be visible, right? So there's a lot of message to the host where you message them first, and then you can possibly get their email. We can scrape that email and send it to an external sheet for um, for outreach. Uh, but there's usually not any info in here. So let me just finish this. Um, there's usually not any info visible on there for the host. Same with Verbo. We do the same thing. So we extract all the URLs, extract all the URLs, scrape all the URLs from the site, and then connect that to navigate to each one of these individually and <clears throat> scrape the host's info. But again, it, they have a contact host button, data is not visible. Uh, looking at some other options that you have here too. 
And if there's a website that has the host's information, the owner's information, we can scrape that data and send it to a sheet. So hope this help helps and uh, fills in some blanks of what you can do.